and guess who's with us this time? I'm back, baby! <laughs> yeah. So, we have a few projects to look at, so let's just get started. All right, <laughs> let's go! So our first OPP we have is Ron Sway, who made two wooden katanas. The first one on a maple stand made with a walnut trim and a blue mahoy handle. The blade is 23 inches long. The second one is even bigger. It's 28 inches long. And it's made of pine with bodark slash horse apple trim and cold wrap for the handle. I think it's pretty cool. Thank you, Ron, so much for sharing those. Those things were awesome. And the next project is by Holoquin Cruz Garzon. Thank you, Noah. He made a pine wood jewelry box, and it's so beautiful. And then he also made these wooden trucks. And I don't have any other information about them, but thank you so much for sharing those with us. Our next project we have is by Humphrey Dunn. He created a Great Dane intarsia using a Kathy Wise pattern. The intarsia is two by three feet, made from Peruvian walnut, African wenji, and western red cedar. Sean, his schnauzer, was not too sure about the intarsia though. Thank you, Humphrey, so much for sharing your work. Getting off to the next project. Our next project is by Indio Dissimo. He made a music box which is designed by Steve Good. He made it for his daughter Lulu who's getting married next year. Congratulations Lulu. But, thank, but most of all, thank you so much Indio Dissimo for sending this project in. The next project is from Ken Schmidt. And this is a sign that he made way back in 1987. And that year is special to me because that's the year I graduated from high school. Woo! So that was a long time ago. Anyway, his sign is four foot by eight foot and it is two sided. And it is one inch by five inch redwood boards with a four by eight exterior plywood that's sandwiched in between it. To make it, he used a one half inch co router bit. And now this is the sign today. He doesn't live in this neighborhood anymore, but he was pleasantly surprised to find out that someone was taking care of it and actually updating it and painting it and making it look like it does now. After all these years, and it looks so good, Ken. And we have a few more projects from Ken, but I'm gonna let Noah take the next one. Thank you, Grandma! And he actually made another sign called The Prayer. It was done without using any stencils. He he drew the letters with a pencil, then followed the letters with the router. That's impressive if you're asking me. But wait, there's more. The wood that he used was oak, and it's stained with a walnut stain. He didn't wipe the stain and the letters so they would stand out. Nice job, but I'm going to let Nadine take the next one. The next project is a sign that says, God bless our home in aspen letters on oak. The stem leaves are poplar, the flower is eastern cedar, and the bird is aspen. The edge was done using a four inch belt sander. And the last project that Ken did is this seahorse. Under the sea, under the sea, under the sea, under the sea. The kids broke out in song and I'll put the entire clip at the end with the bloopers. But the seahorse Ken made is from oak and the eye is walnut. Thank you so much, Ken, for sharing those projects with us. Hi, this is Hubs, and our next couple projects are from our cousin in Texas, Teresa. And the first one here is a lion pastel on pastel paper. Her very first pastel, by the way, and a very good job. The next one is a tiger on drafting film with colored pencils. Isn't this beautiful? Both of these were featured in an online magazine. Way to go, Teresa. Good job. The next few projects are by Pitts Woodworks. He made these projects for a couple of his friends and a few of his fellow YouTubers. He used a scroll saw for all four of these. Thank you, Pitts, for sharing your projects with us. Thanks so much for joining us today, especially since we have Nadine and Noah here this time. Woo! Woo! 
So if you have a project that you'd like me to share on the next OPP, then please send me an email and put OPP in the subject line. And I would love to see what you do. Yeah. And don't leave quite yet, because there are some bloopers up ahead. Comedian. Yeah. People constantly ask me the same thing. Is there a place, <laughs> blah, 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 blah? 